In achieving the goal of health system development, there is a need for health workforce, which is an essential resource for the movement of the health system. For Thailand, the current political and socio-economic changes have certainly affected the health workforce in terms of inadequacy, urban-rural imbalanced distribution, and ineffective support and motivation systems. To effectively resolve the problem of health workforce efficiency, the cooperation of all sectors concerned is required. Wat Prabhat Nampu, the Buddhist temple that cares for full-blown AIDS patients. AIDS is a public health problem everywhere in the world, including Thailand. According to the Bureau of Epidemiology of the Department of Disease Control, Based on the reports received from all public and private health care facilities between 1984 and 2010, cumulatively there were 372,202 AIDS cases and 98,589 of them had died. For almost 20 years, Pra Udom Prajathon, or Pra Alongkot Tikha Banyo, the Buddhist monk and abbot of Wat Prabhat Nampu, has been helping end-stage AIDS patients to have a place to live before they actually die. Back in 1992, the AIDS situation in Thailand was getting more and more serious. A large number of people were infected with Human Immunodeficiency Virus, or HIV, while the general public felt disgust for them, which became a social problem. As the social attitudes and understanding were not open, coupled with a lot of limitations in public services and the negative attitudes of health care providers towards them, Thai society was afraid and not ready to accept them. Some AIDS patients were then abandoned and had to seek the last place for help. Giving the chance to AIDS patients to reside at Wat Prabhat Nampu of Pra Udom Prachaton is regarded as giving the candle light of last hope for them. Pra Udom Prachaton said that this is a Buddhist country. Most Thai people are Buddhists whose principal dharma or religious principle is giving loving kindness to each other. As Thais, we generally help and share with each other, even though we are poor. Whenever we see someone in trouble, we are willing to share what we have. This is an important force that has changed the AIDS problem in a positive way. Wat Prabhat Nampu is situated at the foot of Nampu Hill in Khao Sam Yat Subdistrict, Mueang District, Lopburi Province. The Wat is well known for its Buddha's footprint. It is the place where the Tamarak Foundation and the Tamarak Niwed Hospice for AIDS Patients Project are located. This place has been caring for AIDS patients since 1992. problem is much less severe. But in those days when this monk start uh, the program to support, to provide support, social and, and spiritual and mental support uh, to 
the AIDS patient, the neglected AIDS patient, is very innovative. And when he started, some other temples started to do the same. Uh, the, the Ministry of Health, there, were, there, were, there, were, there was a proposal for the Ministry of Health to build uh, like a special hospital, special place to accept the AIDS patient, like the Leprosarium. It immediately create protest from the community. But once the temple, which is religious, religious leader, lead the way, use the temple itself to take care of the HIV AIDS patient, there's no resistance from the community. In addition, the community come and help. So you can see that a spiritual leader like monks, leading monks, are very important that we also employ. To resolve the problem of health personnel shortage, the Tamarak Foundation awarded fellowships to students to study nursing. Chompunut Nontasi was one of the fellowship awardees who went to study nursing and upon graduation came back to work at Wat Prabad Nampu. As a professional nurse, Chompunut Nontasi told us that AIDS is not as dreadful as many people think. After having taken care of the patients, we will understand that it is just a disease. Her job is to provide basic care to the patients, give medications, and refer those with serious symptoms or complications to hospital. Moreover, at this place, there are Thai and foreign volunteers taking turns in helping with various aspects of physical and mental care for the patients. is a large problem. The volunteers from the Netherlands say that they love to help other people. They are not disgusted with AIDS patients because they have got equipment and know how to protect HIV infection. They want to help the patients to feel better physically and mentally. Language is not the barrier to being a volunteer there as they can communicate with body language as well as facial expression and eye contact. Pra Udom Prachaton said that many volunteers come in to help care for AIDS patients without his request or invitation. They are inspired by what the monks have been doing. With their trust, they feel that they can use this opportunity to create the worthiness of their lives. They come with good feelings to help others. Not upon request, they are doing with the spirit of human beings on this earth and the connection to help each other. From a small starting point, today the volunteers' force begins to get stronger. This is the annual meeting of the volunteers working at Tamaraknivet, Poplar Sector's Volunteers who play a significant role in taking care of AIDS patients in the community. The collaboration and dedication of community members have been reflected through the participation of all volunteers in the Tale Noi community in Mueang district of Lopburi province. Wan Pen Puong Tong, one of the volunteers and the chairperson of Tamarak Niwet Volunteers Group in the Tale Noi community, always spares her time to care for AIDS patients in her own community, despite being busy living from hand to mouth. Today, the volunteers are holding a monthly meeting to summarize the work situation and develop a follow-on plan for further helping the AIDS patients.
พราะเราเป็นคนในพื้นที่ One pen said that she is willing to work on AIDS as she wants to help with Pra Udom p r a c h a t o n s activities. Being a local resident, she can get access to HIV-infected people more easily. If they are open and trust her, she will help them so that they will feel comfortable. Moral support is what all the patients want. Today, one pen comes to the patient's ward to make a moral boosting visit to them. This patient is local resident under the care of one pen. After getting HIV infection, she was helped to reside in Wat Prabat Nampu. This patient told us that the volunteers are very helpful in terms of mental and moral support. They have never made any disgust expressions towards AIDS patients, but they have shown that they can live together with such patients, and they can have a meal at any house that they visit. The concept of Pra Udom p a c h a t o n is focused on the principle of loving kindness. Sharing and helping each other, so the patients who feel a little stronger can volunteer to assist with various activities, particularly in giving knowledge about HIV/AIDS to visitors at Wat Prabat Nampu. This stage gives an opportunity to all volunteers, be they HIV-infected or non-infected, to work together both in front of and behind the curtain. For example, this sound controller is pleased to disclose himself and proud of being part of all the work. He said working here has made him feel that he is worthy and energized to do something, which is different from what he was when he first arrived, severely sick in bed. Now he is stronger and can help with some work. Wat p r a b a t n a m p u is a good example of resolving the AIDS problem in a holistic manner. At this place, there is also a great lesson learned. That is the example of giving that has crossed over the fears, disgust, and discrimination to the unconditional giving, giving an opportunity and giving loving kindness to each other as fellow human beings.